G'day spuddies. Good to see you again. Two days in a row. Holy moly, I'm, uh, I'm going well. <laughs> uh, fresh off a show. I thought I'd look my best for you guys. Got my, my, my coach here. What is it? Hang on. This is a mirror image thing. That's just confusing when I do that. It feels like I'm on the other side of my chest. But anyway, whatever. Meek paddles, kayak paddles, meek paddles, and coaching evolution. My uh, former and maybe soon to be uh, kayak training squad. My favorite, one of my favorite shirts. <laughs> anyway, today, big news today. Big new study released that says that potatoes cause hypertension, high blood pressure. Potato intake increases chances and incidence of hypertension. Big news. Everyone's freaking out because we're all going to die because we're eating potatoes. Ooh, now, let's chill. Right, today I went on ABC Radio in Canberra, uh, partly to talk about that and partly for an update with... Uh, how my health is going for the year. Obviously, it's going very well. And uh, there was also a dietitian on the radio with me who uh, bucked the trend of going against potatoes like most dietitians have this year. She was very good. I can't remember her full name, but I'm pretty sure her first name was Karen. And uh, she basically more or less agreed with me and we all had a nice potato -y time. Um, uh, it was good. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd talk to you guys about this study. So the, the study, I've got it on my iPad here. Uh, I know, there it is. All right. I know lots of people make all these edited videos showing photos and, and, uh, highlighted bits of articles, but I just simply do not have the time to do all that stuff. So I'm just going to read it, talk to you and, uh, and not show you any graphics or edited things that you can read highlighted bits and all that. I just don't have the time to do that sort of stuff. So you'll just have to put up with my talking. So the title, I'll post actually in the the episode description. I'll uh, In the show description, I'll put a link to uh, this article that I'm reading from. There's a, an article on the ABC News website in Australia. And in that article, they have... Uh, the study itself that you can read. So if you want to go and have a look, then go and have a look. Uh, so click below and you'll see the link. Uh, all right, so the study is called Potato Intake and Incidence of Hypertension Results from Three Prospective, Prospective U.S. Cohort Studies. It's by Leah Borgi, Eric B. Rim, Walter C. Willett, and John P. Foreman. Now, I haven't had a chance to go into whether those people are uh, legitimate, trustworthy people, where the funding from this study comes from. Uh, I haven't had a chance to go into any of that. So they, they might be great people worthy of being called great scientists or they might be on the payroll of big meat or big dairy or, I don't know, big pharma. I don't know. You, can, you guys can look that up and see, but I'm just examining the study itself. So they used data gained from the Nurses' Health Study uh, and the Women in Health... Uh, hang on. Nurses' Health Study and the Men in the Health Professionals Follow-Up Study uh, who were non-hypertensive at baseline. So those studies, I've read about those studies lots of times before, and basically they've been going for decades, and they're uh, epidemiological long-term studies based on surveys of all the participants, and they do big surveys every couple of years or so, and, uh, and they get a whole lot of data points, like thousands of data points we're talking about, so they can compare... Uh, all sorts of lifestyle factors with all sorts of health outcomes over a long period of time. And it actually is an excellent resource for gathering data and they do a very, very good job of gathering the data. So I don't have problems with using the data from those studies and uh, I think they're excellent. Uh, so they used that and they use that to compare uh, intake of or consumption of potatoes, whether it's baked, boiled, or mashed or uh, fries or chips 
Now, I'm not actually 100% sure what the difference between fries and chips are because in Australia they're the same thing. The only thing I can think of is that maybe fries are like hot chips out of a deep fryer and you eat them hot like you get from a restaurant or McDonald's. And notice McDonald's is not a restaurant. <laughs> and chips, I guess, are chips that you buy at the supermarket in a packet. That's what I'm guessing is the difference. But uh, yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. So they compared consumption of those foods with rates of hypertension and they concluded that potatoes cause hypertension uh, in whatever form. So how can you conclude that? Uh, what uh, I have uh, concluded, having gone through this, is that they have not accounted for how people generally eat potatoes. So yes, obviously with fries they have. Fries are deep fried in oil. No surprise that they cause hypertension. Absolutely no surprise. Of course they do. They've got oil. They're soaked in oil and oil is obviously no good for you. So yep, I'll agree with that. Fries cause hypertension. So do chips, if that's what they're talking about. Those chips from the you know, open up a foil packet, eat them. Yeah, of course they do. They're fried in oil. That's not healthy. They're... they're more calories from oil than there are from actual potatoes in those products. So yeah, of course. Now, let's get on to baked, boiled, and mashed. Now this is where it gets interesting because how do people normally eat those products? Well, whenever I've talked to people, and I've talked to a lot of people this year, the first questions are, so can you put cheese on them, sour cream, bacon bits? Can you use oil? Well, what about mash? Do you mash them with butter? Do you mash them with milk? Well, no, actually, and that's why it's healthy. We're talking about eating a plain potato and just maybe a bit of sauce or a bit of herbs and spices. And that's it. If you do it that way, yeah, of course it's healthy. And if you add sour cream and cheese and bacon bits and butter and oil to your potatoes, well, you've just turned a very healthy meal into a terrible meal. And... It's going to give you hypertension, folks. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt about that. It's going to cause hypertension if you eat a potato with bacon and cheese and sour cream and milk and butter. <sighs> so, in the study, they claim to have uh, controlled for a number of variables, one of which being saturated fat. Now, here's why I think that is a waste of time. Uh, you're talking about studying the effects of a whole food, the potato. You're not talking about studying the effects of a component of that food. You're talking about the whole food. So when you're controlling, why are you controlling for a food component such as saturated fat? When was the last time someone went to a restaurant and said, hmm, look at the menu. Oh yes, look at the menu. I'll, uh, please wait, can I have the Baked potatoes with a side of saturated fat on them, please. <laughs> That's not how it happens, folks. People go, I'll have the baked potatoes with sour cream and cheese and bacon bits. Yes, those things have saturated fat, but they have a lot of other things too. A lot, a lot of other things. Animal proteins being one. Uh, IGF-1, uh, a, uh, a growth hormone. A cancer-promoting hormone. Uh, I have all sorts of things. I don't need to go into that. The point is, controlling for saturated fat is just silly. If you want to find out what's good and bad for you in food, you need to talk about the food, not the individual broken-down components. All right? There's, there's so many different things that are involved here. And if you want to do a study of health... Surely you need to focus on the overall diet, everything that gets consumed, not just one small component like saturated fat or even a small component like potatoes. Obviously, for me, that's different since it's my whole diet. But for most people, potatoes are not the whole diet. So to focus on potatoes is not maybe such a good idea. Shouldn't we focus on everything the person eats? Anyway, basically, I think it's a bad study. There are many flaws in it. There are things they appear to have overlooked. Uh, and, and it really doesn't actually seem to pr 
prove anything. Um, if you make, it's one of the things is that mashed potato is bad. Yeah, man, mashed potato is bad. Okay, how do people make mashed potato? Until this year, I had always made mashed potato using fatty additives to it, like butter. And when I became vegan, I used vegan butter and and cream. And you know, and when I became vegan, I used vegan cream, obviously. But they're not healthy. They're they're full of fat. So how many people do you know that that make mashed potatoes? Or my guess is not many that make mashed potatoes without butter and or milk and or cream. It's of course mashed potatoes are unhealthy if you do it that way, and that's how most people do it. So please don't blame the potatoes. <laughs> blame the the crap that you're having with them. Baked potatoes. How many people do you know? I don't know many at all that make baked potatoes without oil. Everyone adds oil to them. And then when you put them on the table, you probably put them next to a big steak. But that's the potato's fault. <laughs> what about boiled potatoes? When they come out, what do you do with them? Most people I know put sour cream on them or cheese or bacon bits. Same with the baked potatoes. This is... We're isolating things here. If you want to isolate and say potatoes are bad, then you have to truly isolate them. Otherwise, you can't really draw conclusions because you have to know everything else that people ate with the potatoes so that you can isolate them. And I really don't think this study did it well at all. Uh, again, the nurses' health study and the health professionals' follow-up study, good studies, lots of good data there, but I think this particular study used the data from those studies and just didn't use it well and uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all if uh, if there was some sort of backing from some sort of dodgy group that wanted to find that potatoes were bad but I don't have proof of that I haven't even looked at it so but that wouldn't surprise me if something like that was behind it because I don't know how you could produce such a bad study unless you wanted unless you were trying to find the results that they claim to have found. Uh, so, yeah, in short, <laughs> bad study, bad results, bad controlling of variables, uh, and <sighs> just bad. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> uh, don't pay any attention to this study. What's it called again? Potato intake and incidence of hypertension, results from three prospective cohort studies. Give it a wide berth. Doesn't matter. Eat your potatoes, folks, and enjoy them. <laughs> uh, if you've got any questions, ask me. Comment below. Subscribe below. Like my Facebook page. Share this video if you have someone that's telling you that potatoes are going to kill you and give you hypertension. Share this video with them. And uh, go to spudfit.com and sign up for the newsletter if you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm doing. Thank you very much for watching. Don't listen to these crap studies. Spud up.